Hi everyone, today I'm here to share another nest with me slash prepare for baby with me video. So here I am picking up everything that I had sitting out from filming the haul video from the last <laughs> nest with me video. For those of you who are new here, I usually share doll collecting content here on my channel, but I've been doing this short series of my husband and I preparing for our third baby, a little girl. So in this video, we are just getting the newborn changing area set up. I cloth diaper my kiddos, so I have some cute little newborn diapers that I want to get set up in the changing area. I am definitely ahead of most other moms when it comes to preparing for my babies. But for me personally, I would rather have everything prepared and then the last month or two of pregnancy just sit back and relax and not really have to worry about much other than a few last minute things. So here I am in this little bin putting some cloth wipes in there and a little spray bottle to wet the wipes with. I need to get a bigger spray bottle for that because that little tiny spray bottle is not going to cut it. Then here I am putting in some of Baby Girl's first newborn cloth diapers. These are cord friendly newborn cloth diapers. All of them belong to my sons actually. So those ones that are in that basket are all being handed down to her. And then we have this little care package, I guess you would call it, little package of care things for baby. I just decided to make the third little basket pacifiers, a baby monitor, and a couple of other necessities. Look at this adorable vintage quilt cow. I found that at our local antique store. I guess a local artist makes them, which is really awesome. And then we have some adorable newborn diapers. These are the only cord friendly tiny newborn diapers that I bought for baby girl specifically for her that did not belong to our sons and then you know <laughs> that, that have been handed down to her they will be her first cloth diapers then i put together a basket of some more essentials we have some baby towels some burp cloths a receiving blanket and i added a couple of little books because my sons both loved to look at little books while they were being changed as newborns especially that black and white animal book so there it is, our newborn changing area for now. Now we're moving on to a huge cloth diaper haul. I need to also prep these diapers for baby girl. These are all her one size stash, which, which means that she will be in them from probably about the time she's two months old until she is done in diapers. She's potty trained. I have some really fun themes put together here, so you'll see them come up here as I show them. The first one is spring and Easter themed. So cute. So cute. <laughs> there are over 50 diapers here that I'm showing you, and she does have some more other than these. Now you may be asking, why do you have such an extensive cloth diaper stash for your baby? One the cute prints. I mean, look at these adorable prints. But <laughs> the biggest reason that I cloth diaper is for my baby's health. It's so much healthier for baby not having all of those chemicals that disposables have on their skin. Um, and I personally have a bigger diaper stash so that they can go on to diaper even more children later or I can give them away to families in need when we are done using them so they are not worn out by the time my baby is done using them, if that makes sense. She will also be using quite a few cloth diapers that her brothers hand down to her, but we do have a few in the boys' diaper stash that are starting to wear out in the elastics and will be completely useless by the time baby girl gets to wearing them. So. I was also excited to buy her a bunch of cute girly ones, of course, because my husband and I already have two little boys, <laughs> and this is our first girl. Um, another reason that I cloth diaper is that it actually saves a lot of money. By looking at this huge diaper stash, you wouldn't think that, right? But 
I find really good deals on diapers. All these ones I'm showing here, I actually got on Black Friday sale and most of them were already on clearance as well. So huge savings on them. Most of them were only a little over $4 each. And I also got a huge percentage off at the end of shopping. Most households in the US spend over $1,800 on diapering a baby from birth until about two years old. So with all of the diapers and everything that I bought for baby girl, I have spent about $300 to diaper her all the way from birth until potty training. Also, these diapers will go on to diaper our next child because we have such a big collection here that it will be easy to um, not wear them all out and then they can just go on to the next child. I'm kind of rambling here, but <laughs> I am really passionate about cloth diapering. If you have any questions about cloth diapering, I'm a little bit of a cloth diapering nerd. You are welcome to leave them <laughs> in the comments. I have even run small cloth diapering classes online before. I don't do it as often anymore um, after receiving some just people being mean on the internet, um, calling me weird for knowing so much about cloth diapering and just being so passionate about it, I guess. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just kind of rambling now as we're finishing up showing these cute diapers. I almost forgot my stack of cute character diapers. We have this adorable guinea pig one. Stitch and Angel. I love Stitch. If you have been watching my channel for a long time, you know that. There's Pudge the Fish from Stitch. That was the first one, right? Lila and Stitch. Then we have Rainbow Fish. Because I love Rainbow Fish. And this one is called What the Pug. My oldest son loves that print. He thinks it's so cute. Now I am prepping the diapers to go into the wash. I need to unsnap all of them, put them in the basket so that the factory creases can be washed out. And then what I'm going to do with all of these one size diapers is when they're nice and clean, put them in a tote, put them under mine and my husband's bed. She won't be wearing these until she's probably at least a month or two old. Just depends on how big she is too. She may not even fit into, into them until she's like four or five months old, depending on how big of a baby she is. Um, I have an entire newborn cloth diaper stash. So in the beginning there you saw some of the newborn diapers that she'll be wearing as soon as she's born. And then I have like an in-between stash where as she's growing into the one size diapers, she'll be wearing those bigger newborn diapers. So there you go. There's my rambling about cloth diapers for this video. While I was waiting for those diapers to wash, I decided to fold both my son's laundry. I had a basket of clean laundry I hadn't folded that I needed to. And at this point, I started to feel really, really tired and decided that I didn't want to film any more nesting for baby girl today but i have one more treat for you at the end of this video let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this one and if you would like to see another one i think the next nest with me video will be taking apart the stroller and cleaning that and then um doing the bedside nursery tour that may be a little ways away though we'll see now Let's get to the special treat at the end. I bought my puppy Liberty a new toy at TJ Maxx the other day, and I thought that you all would like to see her reaction. I think that she likes it. Anyway, thank you for joining me for another Nest With Me video, and thanks for watching.